All right, guys, today we're here to talk about Avatar The Way of the Water. This is obviously a really big deal for a lot of reasons that we have a physical Blu-ray in my hands right here for Avatar that is actually in 3D. And that is because it's probably the first U.S. released 3D Blu-ray in a very long time. Thank God for James Cameron, who loves, you know, still loves the 3D technology as much as, you know, us who are watching this video right now and being fans of 3D. Again, most of the 3D releases now you have to get like imported from the UK or stuff like that. And I'm really happy that they actually had, at Best Buy, a release for 3D for this movie, and I have it here in my hands. Avatar The Way of the Water, and obviously here on my LG E6 TV, I did a full video on this already, talking about how this is probably the, or is the best TV you can watch 3D Blu-rays on because of the fact that it's a 4K TV. And the fact that that means that you're getting the full 1080p image, nothing is cropped out or anything when you're looking at it through these glasses here. And these are obviously, uh, you know, passive glasses and it makes the experience of 3D like nothing most people at home ever got to see really close to the cinema experience. I did see this movie in 3D in the cinemas as well, which was amazing. And now we're going to be talking about what it's like to watch this at home, especially on a TV like this. So let's go ahead and get into the video. Gaming tech, eating brekkie is the gaming tech, going for a brekkie is the gaming tech, gaming tech is the gaming tech, gaming tech. So guys, the first thing I want to talk about with this Blu-ray here is, first of all, it looks amazing on this TV as you guys are about to see here. Uh, well, you can't see because you're not watching the, the movie in 3D like I am, but I'm going to be explaining it to you. But what also makes me really excited too, and for those of you guys who are keeping track of VR and stuff like that, is the movie also looks fantastic on the Quest 2 and stuff. But, you know, Apple showed it off on the Apple headset. That's going to be a full, over 4K uh, you know, display on that VR headset that they're making, and it's going to be great for media watching. And I personally can't wait to see what Avatar looks like you know, in Apple's VR headset, because that's probably going to be either as good or even better than this TV, but nothing can replicate this TV right now for 3D movie watching. But I would imagine that on that screen, on the Apple Vision Pro that they're going to be releasing, because it's also 4K, because they're also using OLED panels, because the resolution is even higher than what a 4K TV can produce based on the amount of pixels in there, that watching a movie like Avatar is probably going to be a better experience in that headset than it even is on this you know, 65 inch TV here in front of me. So that's going to be really interesting. I'm saving up my pennies to, you know, go ahead and try and get that Apple Vision Pro to review for you guys and see what that experience is like. But right now we're here to talk about Avatar on this E6 TV as we're looking at here. So the first thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about that I found really interesting that you guys can see here is this is the 3D um, Blu-ray, as you can see right there. But you can see it says part two because part one is obviously in my, uh, you know, 4K Blu-ray player. But it's really interesting. This is the only Blu-ray in 3D that I've ever seen that is actually coming in two parts. Even the original Avatar in 3D that I also have does not come in two parts, but the disc is so big in 3D that it actually came in two parts. The regular movie is still on one DVD, uh, one Blu-ray here on the left, but the, the 3D version is actually on disc one and disc two. That just shows you how large this movie actually is. Now, I know that this isn't coming across here in the video because obviously I'm the one with these 3D glasses here that I'm watching this through, but this is an amazing experience. It really replicates, you know, as I'm looking at this with you guys right now, I'm watching it at the same time through these glasses. And the picture of this is just incredible. This reminds me of when I watched it in the cinema. The resolution of this looks amazing. The fact that you're getting the full 1080p image on here, as opposed to, you know, most of the 3D TVs back then that were on a 1080p TV, which means that if you watched a movie in 3D, you were kind of losing some of the vertical or horizontal resolution, depending on the technology of the glasses you were using. And just having this, uh, you know, at home on an LG E6 TV like I have right here and, and watching this, this is just an incredible experience. I mean, the 3D depth of this movie right now is just amazing. I'm watching this right now and the clarity of his face right now and his hair is just incredible. It literally makes me like I'm watching the movie all over again in the cinema. I mean, there's not much else to say. I love the movie in and of itself. I thought it was a great movie as a huge fan of the original Avatar. And, you know, having this, obviously I have the audio turned off so I don't get hit with a bunch of copyright strikes, but it is an amazing experience here uh, that you guys are looking at. If you guys can get your hands on an LG E6, unfortunately, it is really hard to get your hands on one of these TVs because they either have issues where there's a lot of burn-in, because these were the original OLEDs that had a lot of burn-in issues that people just watch the same channel over and over again, or they're just really, really expensive. Uh, I got lucky enough that this one is like 95% perfect. Sometimes you can see some bars depending on what colors on the screen right here, but it is nothing compared to what some of them, uh, you know, what some of the issues are with some of these TVs. Like this is amazing, and basically every single situation. Um, 
it, it, it looks so good. Like, I'm watching this right now, and like I said, it looks amazing. All right, guys, so that's Avatar The Way of the Water. I just wanted to give you guys a couple of minutes of review talking about the Blu-ray, so those of you guys who are fans of it. The movie itself is fantastic, in my opinion. I loved it when I watched it in the cinema, and I think that it replicates. They did a fantastic job. I watched this whole movie on the Blu-ray in 3D at your home. It looks outstanding. The 3D depth that you get in the movie is bar to none. This is probably the best 3D film that you could watch at home, just like the original one was so good for such a long time and still is highly regarded. This one, in my opinion, is the best Blu-ray I've seen in a while as far as the depth and the colors and just overall presentation on a TV like this. And it makes me excited because, first of all, I'm lucky enough that I could watch this movie in multiple ways. I've watched it here in theaters like I talked about. I also watched it again here on my LG E6, which I'm super happy to have. And then I'm also lucky enough that I watched it on the Quest Pro, and that looked amazing in there on big screen, which was an awesome experience. I'm also lucky enough that I could watch it even on my Loom Pad 2, or a 3D tablet that requires no glasses that I've done a full review on already. That's an amazing experience, and it's an awesome experience to watch this movie on there. And it looks really, really good. Of course, it doesn't look as good as my you know, E6 LG, but you can bring it anywhere. It's 3D technology that you can wear without glasses. Uh, the tablet's a really nice experience, but having a 65 inch is obviously not going to be able to replicate on a tablet, but it's awesome that I can have a 3D experience similar to something like this on a TV anywhere I go on a portable tablet. I mean, it's awesome all the different ways that I have ways to experience 3D as such a huge fan of it. So, And I can't wait to watch it, and like I said before, in Apple's Vision Pro, even though that headset's going to be crazy expensive, it's probably going to provide the best 3D experience no matter what TV you have, whether it's the old ones or watching it on here or on a, a Quest Pro or even a Quest 3 when it comes out, the Apple headset should blow those out of the water when it comes for a media viewing, and, and especially 3D, so I'm excited to see what that looks like, and you best be sure. I'll be back to tell you guys on how good that looks on the Apple Vision Pro when that releases early next year, but right now, like I said, I'm super lucky to be able to experience it in a home cinema-like experience like this. Again, one of the best 3D Blu-rays that I've ever seen. If you guys have a chance to watch it on a 3D uh, projector or a 3D movie uh, on, a, on a screen like this or a similar screen or on a Quest and stuff, highly, highly recommend it. It's an amazing movie experience, guys. One of my, it's probably my favorite blue right now to show off when family and friends come over as far as the wow factor when it comes to a movie like this. So, guys, if you guys have any questions about you know 3D movie watching, as usual, I'm a big fan of 3D and I've done a lot of videos on it uh, on this channel or you guys want to talk about it on here or whatever the case may be, uh, whatever questions you may have, Leave those questions down below. If not, thank you guys for watching. Till next time.